It's only, it's only, it's only. Hello everyone. Now, recently with the drop of the 2.8 update, there are a lot of newly minted Kazla owners, and because of that, there's a lot of debate going on about whether you should build a crit-based Kazla or an elemental mastery-focused Kazaha. So just for comparison's sake, today we'll be taking a look at a full DPS Kazaha, as well as a hybrid Kazaha, and finally an elemental mastery-focused Kazaha. This won't be super detailed or super lengthy, but I'd just like to give a general overview on which build you might want to gear towards, especially since honestly in a PvE game like Genshin, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but there are specific situations where one is better than the other. So anyways, before we get into the comparisons, these are my Kazuha builds. For my DPS Kazuha, I am going with the two-piece Viridescent Venera as well as two-piece Shiminawas, and I'll be using the Misplitter Reforged as the main weapon. For my hybrid Kazuha, I will be switching out the Sands instead of an attack one for an elemental mastery one, still maintaining a decent crit ratio as well as using the Misplitter. Finally for my elemental mastery build, I will be using the Freedom Sworn with elemental mastery main stats on the Circlet, Goblet and Sands. Now specifically for these testings, I will be using 20% crit rate food for my DPS and hybrid Kazuhas because my crit rate on these builds are a little bit low. It will not affect the damage output in any way, so do keep that in mind. Okay, so the first thing I want to look at is the actual damage output of Kazuha in each of these builds. Looking at the Elemental Mastery build first, you can see that the actual animal damage that Kazuha is outputting is actually not very high, but the soul damage that he's doing, which you'll be able to see when you're looking at the other damage outputs later, uh, is significantly higher than the other ones. You can see that each Swirl Tick is hitting for about 7.5k, uh, which might not seem like a lot, but it is pretty much more than double or triple of what the DPS build will be doing in a bit. However, his animal damage is fairly low. Okay, moving on to the hybrid build. As you can see, the hybrid build is doing about 5.5k on the Swirls, however, his animal damage is significantly higher. This should be expected as the damage output of Kazuha's animal damage is significantly higher, but because the elemental mastery amount is lower, uh, naturally his sword damage will do less. And finally moving on to the DPS build, uh, obviously Swirl damage is not very high, but all the focus is on Kazuha's personal damage. So you can see that in the green numbers, Kazuha's damage is way higher than any of the other two builds. This shouldn't be a surprise since obviously he should be doing much more than the other two builds, considering the fact that he is all damage focused. So that was a test on Kazuha's own damage, but what about in a buffing scenario? Normally Kazuha would be paired with another DPS to buff that DPS. Of course, you can run Kazuha as a main DPS if you want to, however, Kazuha's A4 passive is one of the best parts of Kazuha's kit. So naturally, I think it's important to see the difference in how much Kazuha's A4 gets affected when you go a DPS route compared to an elemental mastery route. Now for those of you who aren't aware, Kazuha's A4 gives an elemental damage bonus for any element he swirls. This elemental damage bonus scales completely off of his elemental mastery, which means if you have very little elemental mastery, you won't be buffing that element very much. But let's take a baseline example. For these tests, Zhongli's shield will be used just to make things easier so my Ganyu doesn't keep getting interrupted. So as we can see, normally, my Ganyu hits for about 15k on the initial hit, as well as 26k on the Bloom. We'll just use the Bloom as reference, uh, just so we don't have so many numbers to take note of. This time we'll start with the DPS build. Well, with the DPS build, it's important to keep in mind that the 4-piece Viridescent Venera does buff the damage of an element that is swirled significantly, having the 40% resistance shred. Now my DPS Kaza is not running 4-piece Viridescent Venera, instead he is running 2-piece Viridescent 2-piece Gladiators. So not only does he lose out on Kazuha's A4 buff, but he also loses out on the VV resistance shred. So as you can see, the Bloom on my Ganyu now does 28,000 damage a 2,000 damage increase from the baseline, which in all honesty is not a lot. It is honestly pretty little for a buff. As you can tell with a full DPS build, the buff just isn't very significant, which is to be expected because you are focusing on Kazuha's personal damage. Moving on to the hybrid build, now my Kazuha is starting to buff my Ganyu significantly more. Her damage has gone up from 26,000 to 35,000, 
a modest 9,000 improvement. That is obviously a much higher improvement because of the fact that one, Kazuha has the A4 buff from his higher elemental mastery, but also because of the resistance shred from Viridescent Venera. Viridescent Venera is contributing a lot of the damage as well, so that is important to keep in mind. And finally, moving on to the Elemental Mastery build. Here you can see this is taking full advantage of Kazuha's A4, and Ganyu is now doing 45,000 on her Bloom. This is almost double of her original damage, which is insane. This is another 10,000 damage increase from the hybrid build, which is even higher than the improvement that the hybrid build went from the DPS build. So you can see how much the A4 buff matters in terms of buffing a proper DPS. So from these examples alone, we can tell that a DPS Kazuha is probably not going to be as good as a full-on support Elemental Mastery Kazuha. The amount of buffs that an Elemental Mastery Kazuha provides is just so far ahead of the amount of damage that he can do personally that for most cases, it is probably not worth it to invest in a DPS Kazuha. Not only is farming for good DPS pieces actually very difficult, as you have to worry about a lot of good substats and main stats and such, but it also requires a ton of investment as well as a good weapon to get the most out of Kazuha's damage, which probably won't even match a low investment all EM Kazuha. That being said, Viridescent Venera is not a very good dungeon, and it is very hard to get Elemental Mastery main stat pieces, so that is one of the drawbacks of trying to go full EM. That being said, I did want to see how well you could use a main DPS Kazuha in the Spiral Abyss. Now, it should come to no surprise that the EM Kazuha, when buffing a proper main DPS, will obviously do way more damage and clear the Abyss way easier. But just for kicks, I, would, I did test out on stream, twitch.tv slash DukeKC, running a DPS Kazuha on the top half of Abyss 12. Come on. Okay, that was a fast one. That was actually fast. As you can see, I could clear the Spiral Abyss just fine, with a few retries due to very very unlucky lack of crits, but it just shows that DPS Kazuha is perfectly viable even in the Abyss. And I think that's the conclusion I can come to. I mean, my conclusion with, with like DPS versus EM Kazuha is pretty simple. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just play however you like. Yeah, sure, like in a pr in a full team scenario, the EM Kazuha is definitely going to perform, outperform the crit Kazuha because Kazuha's personal damage matters much less than his team damage, which in a full EM team, even his swirl damage will probably outscale uh, his own personal damage if you build him as crit. But the thing is, I just like the big green numbers. Honestly, I'm a sucker for big green numbers. And that's why I like playing playing DPS Kazuha. Even in the overworld, I think overworld, it's better to have DPS Kazuha. And I think if if the player, like if you don't have a good good main DPS, like let's say your main DPS is like, is like Keqing. I don't know what, oh yeah. If, if you're using like a DPS like Keqing or Diluc, who like basically do no damage, right? Then I think a main DPS Kazuha is like perfectly fine. I think he actually does do really, really well. He does a lot of damage with crit. Now my crit, Kaza is not that great. His crit rate is a bit low. I think uh, DPS Kaza is perfectly fine. I think people just need to shut up about it because every time they see like a DPS Kaza, it's like, oh, don't you know that uh, DPS DPS Kaza is not as good as Swirl Kaza? Like, who cares, bro? Who asked? Let people play the way they want to play. I, at the end of the day, like, if you can 36 star the Abyss, you can 36 star the Abyss. I think it's really stupid to keep harping on the fact that, um, yeah, his he has an optimal build. I just like that, bro. The truth is, Elemental Mastery Focus Kaza is the best way to go. There's no way around it. No matter how you try and spin your way around it, it is the best build. It gives him the most damage output on his swirls, especially in a multi-target scenario and in a team where you can buff your actual main DPS. That being said, I personally run a DPS Kazuha most of the time. The reason for this is because I just find him very comfortable as an overworld character, and I like seeing my big green numbers. Build him however you want, however you like, but do keep in mind that it takes way more investment to build a good DPS Kazuha than it does to build a full support Kazuha. But don't let anybody force you or tell you how to build your Kazuha. Do it however you want, however makes you have the most fun in the game, and I think that should be the most important point. Meta doesn't really matter. Kazuha can still clear the abyss just fine, and if you can do that, 
then honestly, who cares? But yeah, that's just a quick comparison between the DPS Kaza as well as a support Kaza and hybrid Kaza. Now, for which one I personally recommend, I actually don't really recommend the hybrid Kaza that much. I think you should go one way or the other. I think you'll do more damage with a full DPS Kaza or a Elemental Mastery Bot Kaza. I think the hybrid in between is just kind of copium. I personally don't really like it that much and I haven't been using it even though I did farm the pieces for it. But like I said, I'm going to keep using the DPS Kazwa in most cases, but use the support Kazuha for damage testing, for Spiral Abyss, and other stuff. Play however you want, don't let anybody tell you how to play. Anyways, that's just a quick video for Kazuha. Uh, thanks all for watching, and talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! Please give me enough energy. Yes! Oh, Kazuha is so good! Oh, <laughs> Kazuha, you are so broken.